Hey, good morning, Glenn. Making a video, I'm going to put this on YouTube. Hopefully the quality will be good that you can see your cam cover. Now, the, there's an email I sent you. Actually, I BCC'd you, um, which is the email I sent to the powder cutter folks. Um, because what I don't like doing is I don't like... Uh, how do I say it? I don't like not negotiating anything that is questionable. Um, even though your cam cover in the photos I provided you earlier and in the photo that I sent to you last night in a BCC showed your cam cover, this cam cover, after blasting and you can clearly see that this entire area was just really chewed up from obviously the casting process and I've seen dozens of these cam covers and they're all some are better than others the ones that are the best ones are the GTS models because they sort of perfected the process but um, this cam cover had this area very flawed and it went into the spark plug hole there was a little blurb here, of course, and then right here. And hopefully the video will show it. Now, there's a couple bubbles, little small pops right there, which I think those can be repaired before I send it back. Um... Uh, where, what I'm getting at is I don't want to send this back to you like this unless you want it back like that. I don't know if these are going to be covered with, you know, wires or hoses or whatever, but it, it still boils down to I want to give you the best quality possible. And this right here doesn't indicate that, but there was the flaw in the cam cover underneath it, which brings up a whole new paradigm of doing this work and I'm going to show you something that I may spend the money on and actually purchase I saw this years ago and this is applicable to not just you Glenn but everybody out there I saw this this system at SEMA several years ago and this is a, I want to say cold spray, but it's really not. It's a spray system that repairs metal. And this device, this tool would be perfect for what I do here and fixing cam covers like yours. Um, if you Google or go on YouTube and look at Centerline SST, you can look at the devices and you can look at the processes that they offer in the in, in whomever whomever owns this tool. I haven't found anybody in Texas that has one of these. And I really think I'm gonna I'm gonna spend some money and and buy this. I think it's like I don't know, twenty five thousand dollars to buy it, but I don't know. I know with this tool I could fix cam covers like this before we powder coat. Um, that would render a really nice finish so we don't have something like this. And even all of the all of the 928s and I-44s that are out there that have tons of problems with the cam covers, even though the 928, most of this is covered, you don't see it. But still, I mean, we spend the money collectively to make our cars really nice. Let's take it all the way. Um, so... I think that's what I'm going to do is, uh, um, sorry about that, is, is look into this to fix items like this. But I need, I need you, Glenn, to send me a note or, or even reply on the video um, if you want this back, like now, today, tomorrow, whatever, in the next day or two, send it back. Or if you want me to try to get the powder coater folks 
see if they can dig in here maybe and, 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 and maybe fix that. But if we do that, I don't, I don't know. There might be some color irregularities with, you know, the second application of powder coat in those areas. I'm not quite sure. Um, but that's why I'm being uh, very transparent and open with you right now in this, in this process of uh, figuring it out and analyzing it as to what the issue is and uh, how to probably, possibly render a solution on that. So it's kind of cool I've got uh, car parts in my living room. <laughs> never bring it I never bring them in here when they're dirty that's for sure but uh, they're nice and clean okay thank you Glenn have a good day and I'll uh, hear your reply soon thank you bye-bye